friend, it's an amazing story. You must, you must, it, I, I don't know. Because you, you claim to be breast levels, so I'm going to tell you. But a friend of mine, he was stuck. He wanted to go to Uman with his son. In Breslev, mo most of the people trying to keep the advice of Rabenu to say to, the, to bring the children in an early age, before they're seven years old, Hasid Breslev are trying to take their children first time to Uman before age of seven. That friend of mine, his son was maybe one month, two months before become seven, and he didn't have no money. And he didn't know what to do. And he, he, like he was about to lose his mind. It's such a, for him, it was such an important thing. He felt like his heart was, was, was about to stop. Like, what, what's going to happen? It's, it's such a promise, so important for my child, his, his eldest son. And he wanted to fix the situation so badly. And he went and he tried to to do long in Buddha Duyot and prayers on that and to and to go to righteous people. And he decided to go and and to to get a blessing from a righteous man. And while he was walking after that righteous man, more people came and more people surrounded him. And in the end he couldn't he couldn't approach, he couldn't talk to him. And even just to mention, please Allah, bless my child, bless us bring salvation, he couldn't reach him. And then a thought came to his mind that Rabbi Nachman of Breslev is writing in Nikutem Moran that when a person is sighing, that's how you say it, sighing from the bottom of his heart, so he is taking certain amount of air, breath outside, and he creates a place for a new fresh air to come inside. And if he's got some thought that is bothering him, and he will sigh, be thinking on that thought, on that thing that bothers him, so he will release that energy. And when he will take a new breath, so he can be redeemed. Secret of creation. Something that Hashem Barach is telling us. Use Rabbi Nachman of Breslev to reveal to you that it's not an empty thing when you're sighing, when you're thinking, when you're disturbed and you're thinking and you can release those foreign thoughts upsetting thoughts and when you breathe new fresh air that can contain a salvation can fill you from inside so he said to himself not that he had too many options and he decided to sigh on his problem that's what he did that was the only thing that he was able to do and he thought please Hashem help me to bring my son to Uman before the age of seven. He went back home he, to the home to the house of his parents in law. They visit them in during the Shabbat. And then he sees his wife talking to the neighbor, a woman neighbor, across the the, the hall. And he said Shabbatov went back to the house and after a couple of minutes his wife is coming with a shining face, very happy. Tells him, You don't know what just happened. So she said he said he asked her what happened. She said, Our friend, the neighbor, she told me about her troubles and about her issues, that she's not married and she's over forty and she doesn't know what to do and she wants salvation and she felt like that her salvation depends in you, in us, in our family. And she don't know why that thought came to her mind. And I told her, how can we help you? If my husband would go to Uman, for sure he would pray for you. But we're stuck. We don't know what to do. And that woman told him, you must go to Uman. It's not Rosh Hashanah. She said, no, we're taking the child and he's about to be seven. And whatever. And that woman said, that's my salvation. And she decided to pay for both of their tickets to go to Uman. And in one week and a half from that day, they were both on the plane to Uman. And they went and they prayed and whatever. Hashem Barach is working with us in mysterious ways, in inner ways. Every thought, every holy intention that you have inside of your heart, when you pray, when you express your thoughts in front of Hashem, 
Hashem is answering 